we are officially started. We're starting, guy. Get that nice fucking old school PlayStation logo. So I'm playing Uncharted 4 this week, right? Yeah. It's made by Naughty Dog, who, of course, made Crash Bandicoot. Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. So at the beginning of the game, <sighs> Nathan and his wife are eating dinner. And yeah. They get into it. He goes to do the dishes. And uh, well, hey, hey, I'm coming. she's like, no, you cooked. I'll, you know, I'll make the dishes or I'll do the dishes or whatever. And he's like, I'll play it for it on your stupid TV game. So yeah. it shows him go up to the TV and it hey, looks Justin. like a PlayStation 1. He turns it on and it goes to the old PlayStation sound. Oh, nice. You fucking play Crash Bandicoot. In, you play a video game in a game. That's cool. And it's a stupid level where you're running toward the screen away from the boulder. Yeah. Yeah. I died. Here's the story of Tomb Raider 2. We're in was, that, was that reptile? Yeah, check this out. So, okay. <laughs> These guys, they're attacking Tibetan monks here. And, like, there's a big-ass fucking dragon. He's fuck? like, I'm gonna cook this guy. <laughs> oh, man, I like my I like my beer cold and my homosexuals flaming. <laughs> This guy's, this guy's like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get eaten Is that Vin oh, Diesel? Oh, God. Oh, God. I think that's Vin Diesel. <laughs> it's Vin Diesel. He's like, what the hell is this? It's shiny. I'm going to poke at it here. What is it? Let me just pull this out here. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh-oh. Not a smart idea. Uh, okay. So how do you like the story so far? Is that how Vin Diesel dies? Yeah, I guess. How, it's how Vin Diesel dies. That looks like someone from Mortal Kombat. Oh, my God. Who, him? No, the guy with the bun in his hair. No. Okay, so the legend says that the Chinese emperor has this magical dagger that if he plunges it into his heart, he becomes a dragon. Oh. So then these guys are like, fuck this shit. We can't have this shit around here. We're going to fucking put it in this tomb. We're going to put it back to where we found it. All right, we're just going to go to this tomb. This guy's got a mustache. He's like, I got your back. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, it looks like a door. What's this? A handle? I'll press the handle, and I'll open the door. Ooh. Check that shit out. Check that fucking shit out. It just opens up. Looks like the old yin yang symbol. He's like, ooh. The other guy's like, nah, bro, just go ahead. Just go ahead. I got, I got, I got you back. We're gonna check out this here, this little thing here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I like how this was kind of like a mild intro. Like you, we opened the episode with you talking about Nathan Drake and Uncharted. Yeah, <laughs> it's just. I think this goes here. I'm not sure, but I'll put it in anyway. Oh well, yeah, stick it in deep throat. Oh it. yeah, just slide it right oh, in there. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. oh my god, that's fucking awesome discotech. Dun, 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 oh, that's dun. that. All right, folks, it's fucking Tomb Raider 2, probably Sorry. my f most favorite Tomb Raider game that I... Most I've favorite? From the classical series, as well it's as the entire good. series as a whole. I fucking love this game. This is the first Tomb Raider game I ever played, and uh, before we start, I just want to give a shout out to my friends Nick and Grant. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm doing this for you guys, too, because I remember you guys watching me play this. And uh, being entertained by it. So here we go. You're going to see it now on the game couch. My what's, fucking uh, favorite what, game. What's Grant been up to? Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, still he's living around. in Marblehead. Uh, with okay. his sister. She's got repelled out here. We're at the Great Wall. Got to get that Great dagger. Great Wall of China? Yeah. No, the Great Wall of Pakistan. Well, that could be a Oh, place. my fucking ankles. They're broken. I don't know of all the walls in the world. There's only one Great Wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Just fucking say it. All right. I mean, I think that I've come across some walls that were kind of great. Yeah, what kind of walls were they? The almost great wall. The almost great wall? You know, ones with murals. Okay, so... If you haven't noticed, Hacker, yep. you remember in the first game when she had a bun? Yeah. Now she's got a ponytail. Oh, actually, they fixed it. actually working ponytail. <clears throat> they actually fixed it. Yep. All right, first I need to come around here. I can actually roll in midair now. There's a tiger. I got this shit. All right, tiger's dead. I'm gonna go up here. Uh, yeah, Justin, I was thinking the same thing. Why was he? So take notice to the starring Lara Croft below the title. 
gonna go over here. So as, as you know, I, I was I admit I was pretty rusty in my first Tomb Raider, like the first Tomb Raider that I played. But I get I'm gonna promise you guys that this one is gonna be a uh, smoother play. Oh through. yeah, it's gonna be fucking an experience that you guys are going to enjoy. Mm-hmm. Got the first secret. So, you remember there was like Just hidden like books. There were like hidden items for secrets. Yeah, yeah. Well, now they changed it up. So now there there is three dragons you get to find in each level. Okay. There's a stone dragon, there's a jade dragon, and then there's a gold dragon. So, if you find all three, that's how you get the bonus items. Oh. And and yes, I know where all the dragons are in this game, so Welcome back, Forest Wanderer. All uh, right, welcome back. You were watching me play two. Brainers. Justin says, "Like no shit, who else is in it?" <laughs> <laughs> I do think it'd be really cool if they made an Uncharted Tomb Raider crossover. You know, it's it's funny now that because Uncharted was influenced by Tomb Raider, obviously, but nowadays it seems like Tomb Raider, you know, has lost its influence in terms of 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 its. Yeah, all of its influence. So now it seems like the new Tomb Raider games are more based off of the Uncharted games. They yeah. seem to be more like a trend follower than more of a well, trendsetter. So the new Uncharted comes out in like a month or two. Yeah. And like I'm kind of psyched for it, but I've I've already read like Nathan's story ends at four. So one of the side characters takes over the next game. And I don't right. know how I feel about it. Because I like the character. Like, well, yeah, and I like the character, but it's like... What's the guy? Uh, what is um? What is Drake's like foster father figure? Sully. Sully. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Is he gonna be in it or is he? Like- I don't know. They haven't really said. I'd kind of assume. I see. The yeah. people who aren't gonna be in it are Nathan, Elena, and probably Sam because I have a feeling Sam's gonna die at the end of four. Yeah. Woo. Ten points. Oh, I hit the fucking rim. All right, it's okay. Want to see him? Yeah, Sam. Uncharted Four has been really good so far. It feels a lot longer and better put together. We're probably I, gonna, I just played through the first. We're gonna three. be. We're probably gonna be game couching all the Uncharted's once Hacker gets it through and he kind of knows it. Yeah, he's it. been really enjoying them. He's like, you're. Uh, he's on the fourth one, and wait, we only started playing him a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, I, I beat the first three of them in what, like a, a few days, a week and a half, yeah. maybe. Playing them it was on like and off. literally like one or two days for the first one. Yeah, yeah the first one's kind of short. The like second I'm sure one's you only played it twice. The second one's really good and it's pretty long, and the third one's not quite as long. That's but what it's I heard really about good. the third. One. I heard the second one was pretty good, and the third one was like meh. The, the third one was good. It just it was a little bit short. The third one had like a Return of the Jedi feel. In a way, it, it's I don't know. Like, I hear, like, the story in the second one's pretty dark compared to, like, because there's, like, a bad dude. Well, there's a... There's a, there's, oh, I mean, there's, I mean, there's a bad, bad dudes in all of well, them. Well, the, the, the third one has, a like, an evil, like, almost Illuminati kind of uh, organization yeah. you're yeah. working against. So... Those are spiders I'm shooting, by the way. Sabby yeah. asked what's take, what took so long. Sorry, we well, we started the stream and then it shut off for some reason. We had Fuck some off, technical spider. difficulties. But yeah. I love how you have to shoot a fucking gun at a spider. Like, overkill much. And now there's flares in this game. I shoot a gun there's a bunch spider. of new shit in this game that's like, yay. I'm like, I'm happy that's in here. Like, flares to light up dark passages. Uh, there's a fuck ton of new weapons. You're going to be surprised at how many fucking new weapons there are. How many? Uh, well, I think there's like. I think they triple the amount. How much chaos would there be if you guys played Kirby's Return to Dreamland, as in multiplayer co-op? That's a, There was a multiplayer co-op for that? Yeah, apparently. I mean, I'd do it. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Die, spider, die. All right, he's dead. All right. Go down here. So I'm almost done with this level. <laughs> I'm just going to fly right through this shit. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm just fucking... I, I don't know how many times I've played this game. I just I fucking love it. There's just something. There's something what is about that sound. Oh, I'll show you. So this is a trick. I guess I should probably like explain what's going on because I'm kind of just like running through this really fucking. Spiders fast. are the worst things ever. Google spider bites and click images. No, Bobby, I'm good. Hell no, bitch. And uh, Savvy says, "Return to Dreamland." So, so like yeah, there's like fucking discs of death that are being shot out. Like, if I would have went through the water, I would have been going through all that shit. Oh. So, 
What's nice about this is I can save whenever the fuck I want. Which I'm gonna Rather do. than finding a save yeah. point. Which I really fucking enjoy about this. All right, this is where it's going to get intense really fast. Like, a lot of shit's going to happen in quick Five, quick succession four, here. So three, get ready two, for a booby trap central one. here. Nothing happened. Holy oh. ball sacks. Holy fucking ball sacks, Batman. I did not mean to fucking die, but whatever. We'll take it. Gotta grab the- Fuck. Fuck, fuck the clips. Fuck the clips. I'm just gonna go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Okay. I didn't grab the automatic pistol clips, but that's okay. I just gotta avoid the fucking spike thing. Up. Oh. Ow. That fucking hurt. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna need to use a med pack. Sorry. This is gonna hurt. Oh, actually, it really hurt that bad. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh god. Dramatic. Music. Yeah. Duh, duh. Am I gonna make it? Oh god. Phew. Okay, we're through. Whew, that was fun. Like this, this for a first level, this is actually pretty intense. Like I remember playing this for the first time. I'm like, holy fuck, this thing got really hard, really fast. It just kind of threw everything in. Yeah. Well, they assume that you played the first one, so like you're familiar with everything right. going on. All right, there's a bunch of spiders. I'm gonna fucking lure them out. Spiders. There's a repel. That's new. That's a new thing. It's a zip line. Zip line, whatever. All these fucking jumpity spiders. Okay, they're all out. I'm gonna kill them all now. Ja fuck off, spider! Spiders! Spiders, stop it! Oh my god, fucking. You know, you think one bullet would be enough to kill these fucking things. Right. Alright, they're all dead. Alright, time to get the last secret. Got to jump down here, plop here, get up here. Up's a daisy. Okay. And I gotta go over here. So this game took a dream. So um, what? technically, what? Because Justin and Sabby are talking about Return to Dreamland. Yeah. Technically, Justin, we could definitely get do four player co op in that because there are more than the three of us that are members of the couch. Yeah, there's like we're just the only three ever actually here from. Yeah. There's technically six members. True. Yeah. So. Seven, if you include the cat. Oh, the cat's a member now? You can do four-player co-op with the cat. All right, this is the fast way to get down the ladder. I just tap X. X. I don't know why I said X like Axe body spray. Axe. Got my flare. All right. All right, and we're down in the canyon now. <laughs> Gotta go this way. So, uh... There's a dinosaur. They're coming up. Like right now. Oh, bitch, I'm outie. It's coming around. I gotta fucking hide. It's coming around. It's coming around. There it is. Uh, I love how it's just like, yeah, dinosaurs still exist. Yeah. But never mind the scientific discovery, but fuck it, we gotta take it down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too close. Too close. Too buku. Too buku. Alright, Dino's dead. Light up another flare. Uh, go this way. Woo! Look at that big old, big old dino. And that, that sparkly little thing there, that is the last dragon, that is the gold dragon. And I get uh -huh. the grenade launcher. In the first fucking line. Right, well, this is like if you find the secret. So I will try and... There's another one. I will try and Holy use it. Holy fuck. Just wanna Did see. that only come out because you grabbed the last yeah. secret? Alright, here. You wanna see something really funny? Shirk this shit out. Uh, <laughs> it just blows up into, like, blocks. <laughs> so bad. Okay. It's a little dark. I can't see. I was gonna say, how do you even know where you're going? Well, that's why we got flares in this game, so you can kind of see. Although there is a fucking, there is a fucking glitch with this game. If you are climbing ladders with a flare, and you need to jump or move, like she will, she there's an animation where if the flare is out, she'll toss it. Mm -hmm. But if you do that, you won't grab the ledges and you'll kill yourself from the oh. fall. So it's best not to fucking climb a ladder with a flare. Although I guess it didn't really matter with this one because I'm just all I'm doing is going up. I'm not jumping in between ladders here. It's 
screen's very black. I know it's it's dark. It's dark, guys. Bear with me. Asshole. It's gonna get. It's, it's gonna get. All your fault. It's, it's gonna fucking get, fault. It's gonna. It's your fucking fault. God damn it. It's gonna get. It's gonna get light. There's the light. There's the light. We see the light. The light is coming. Upside daisy. Here we go. All right. Check this shit out. Yep. What are we checking out? Her, that her ass. Her ass. It's just that right up I in your guess. face. That butt. <laughs> All right. Down here. Take this way. Back to where we were before. You know what's really funny? What? I remember when you were playing Tomb Raider 1. Yeah. I was talking about how the Cavs were in the playoffs and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Cavs are going in the playoffs again. Yeah, it's, it's been one year since we've done Tomb Raider It's one. like tradition. <laughs> right. All right. Tune in next year for Tomb Raider 3. Oh, I don't know, man. Tomb Raider 3 is a whole. I don't want to use the grenade launcher on these tight Tune in next year for Tomb Raider 7. Just stand, just stand still. All right, that tiger's dead. All right, this is a fast moving tiger. Fight like a tiger. Tiger's dead. All right. Whew. There's the door. See, this is gonna be a quick game. I'm already at the secret door, and I go alley oop. Ah. Oh. Okay. We're at a cutscene, huh? Look at this door. Oh shit! Fuck! God damn it! Pardon me. Ooh. If that was just your way of trying the doors for me. This guy has a very <laughs> square head. So after the grenade was so powerful, the dinosaur blew up in segments. Right? You've got a square penis. Do I have a square penis? I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. Last time I saw it, it looked pretty square. I don't have a square head. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right I'll one. stick with that. <laughs> Not concerned about the fact that I just said I'd seen your penis before. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> that, that got awkward. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. Uh oh. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. So you know what I don't understand about this? He takes the poison and he drinks it. He didn't have to tell her shit. She probably he could have just been like, "I'm not telling you anything. I'm just gonna drink this." Well, thank God for this fucking ancient Wi-Fi hotspot. I can find out where I need to go next. Uh -huh. What Jenny you doing? Oh, you're in hackers. I'm reading these funny stories about horrible dates. Okay, wait. Oh, what are you doing? Sitting back. There. What are you doing? All right, that was the great <laughs> first level. First level done. Seven, 17 more to go. So, so backstory is, um, you're gonna find out. You remember in the in the first game, I primarily fought animals. Yes. Yeah. Now this game takes a dramatic effect where they replace animals with people. People. Yes. So uh, the guy that he, she was talking with, um, was he like a monk or something? No, but he's part of a cult. Okay. And this cult, there's a there's a whole big backstory behind it. Like, um, you know Marco Polo, right? There's a guy in the battle. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. Um, I'm aware of Marco Polo. So Marco Marco Polo went to China, right? Yeah. Uh, he he met the he met the emperor and stuff. He came back to to Venice. So, um, the story goes because all these people are Italian. All these cultists are Italian. They want to find the dagger. It's called, the artifact's called the Dagger of Jean. And they want it so they can have the power of the dragon. Right. So these guys basically take the place of the Nazis in any Indiana Jones movie. Oh. So just to, just to sum it up for you, yeah, these are these are all evil henchmen that I'm trying to kill. Or that are in my in my way. The person I'm talking to that I talked to at the cutscene of the last level was like, ah, you'll you know, in order to fucking open the door, you need the right way to do it, and uh, my boss knows it. And the boss, the, the main bad guy in this story is called Marco Bartoli. Fucking Guido-ass, mafiosa man. Just, he, he, he's a bad guy. Would you just show him? A picture of two of the characters from Parks and Rec kissing. Oh my god, are you looking it's at- It's a spoiler! Look at that spoilers, Mel. No, I'm reading these stories about horrible dates. Oh. What's the I, most- uh, 
I ruined part of Uncharted 2 for John, I forgot to tell you. Oh. He's still, like, really early in it. He's like, so you know what I love? And I was like, what? And he's like, the girl from the first game. She's just never mentioned again. And me and my loud mouth, I was like, oh, yeah, she'll come back. Then this happens. He's like, well, thanks for ruining. And I was like, mm-hmm. uh, Do you ever think, like, the yeah. girl from the second game, like, the new girl is a bit sassy? Who, Chloe? Chloe. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty sassy. She's the main, she's the main character in the new one. Oh, is she? Yeah, okay. she takes over. Let's see. So the guy I killed up here has a key. I want that key. I'm gonna take that key from him. Give me that key. Because it's the, uh, it's the boathouse key. We're gonna go over here. Blah, blah, blah. See, look how fucking effort- effortlessly I'm fucking doing this shit. I can break glass. Haha. That's kind of cool. You can do that. Wave of the future. Yeah, I know. This, this came only one year after the first one was released. Really? And I'm also doing it on the 20th anniversary of this game coming out, so... Yay, me. I might do a Tomb Raider every year. If that's the case. Every year If the game Tomb couch Raider. goes another year. No, you don't think we're going to make it happen? What do you think we're going to break up? I don't know. What could happen? What could happen? What could happen? Why would you say that? I don't know. Why would you say that? Are you having second doubt? Are no, you second thoughts? realistic. What do you mean realistic? If you really? don't want to be with me, just oh say God, so. God, you are a woman. <laughs> it's okay. So everyone was it's all, not you, it's him. Everyone was all down for us to, you know, do Tomb Raider. And there's just no, That's because nothing. we're funnier when we're playing games that don't have a story. I feel like I can't read these funny dates because Go, Melanie, there's a why lot don't of you story. Just, just share the, the funny date story. Okay, well, the only one that was really actually that funny was this one. Oh, my God. You're like, I got these funny stories, but only one is good. I met this guy from online to go for a walk. We stopped to admire the scenery, and out of nowhere, he started licking my face. I just froze. Oh, fuck. We continued walking. Why didn't ow, I run away, ow. you ask? I was young and stupid, and it happened again. Oh, we shit. finally came to a bench, and I sat on the opposite side in fear that I was going to be licked again. As I thought of an escape plan, I heard a strange noise. He was full on masturbating in a public park. I don't think I've ever run as fast as I did that day. Oh, my God. Oh. That's nice. I almost forgot. I got a fucking kill. Hashtag game couch forever, says Justin. Oh, actually, this one was kind of funny, too. I gotta kill this guy, because he gives me my second gun. My shotgun. second... Nope. Are you gonna kill him with fire? I got... I started he off was with definitely it. holding a shotgun. No. Well, no. His actually has just a lot... It's like a long silencer. So I started off with the shotgun. Now I have the automatic pistols. No, he was definitely holding a shot. So now I'm going to present... It's with... probably still in his hands. Go back to his corpse. Okay, I'm telling you, it's like a pistol with like a big silencer on it. It's like kind of like hanging off. That looks like a shotgun to me. I'm telling you, man, that ain't no shotgun. It's like a pistol. Or like an MP40, maybe. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. So I got a challenge I can do. And you guys, will, I hope, will be impressed with this. I love how the whole boat shifts up. Like, that thing's got some yeah. serious horsepower. Why? I, I think I can do this game now without using my pistols. I can use all my other guns that have ammo. Finite ammo. I could probably do it without running out of ammo. Yeah? Yeah, I think I can do it. Bold statement. I can do it, because I've done it before. So, check me out. So, I got the automatic pistols equipped. I'm going to run over here. Fuck off rats. Die. Just die. Fucking rats. Hate rats. Some big ass fucking rats, too. Some New York City rats. Yeah, I don't know, right? Oh, yeah, we're in Venice, by the way. Yeah, I figured that out. Okay, I forgot to say. I, I figured you'd you notice with the fucking canals and the, yep. and the boats running around here. I'm gonna go over here really fast. Because I gotta get the first secret. I gotta get myself that gold dragon. I mean, I yep. think you just need to chill out and go take a gondola ride or something. Right. Mosada mia. Mosada mia. I think that you're a donkey. Wow. That's no way to talk to the Italians. No, you, you specifically are. What did I do? You acted like a donkey. What? what, what can you ex- can you specify? I mean, just pretty much everything you do. That's not nice. Is donkey like? Yeah. Just that's not cool. You can't just say that and just be like, oh. You're always going me small. Is that, I, what, is I'm, that what a donkey I'm, says? I mean, we snaw. That's we snaw. what Mystery in the Sea Horse says. Yeah, I thought her name was do Debbie. They, do they say yeehaw? 
Ye- no, the cowboys say yeehaw. What did they say? Yeehaw! Yeah, see, you're a fucking donkey. Just, you know, whatever. Just try to <laughs> you made a donkey noise. Uh, fucking banging this boat up. Yeah, fucker. Uh, Merry Christmas! Mike, what's your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? Ben and Jerry? Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, right? Honestly, anything with peanut butter, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like Chunky Monkey. Oh, and Chubby Hubby. Chubby Hubby. What's in Chubby Hubby? Chubby Hubby is like vanilla ice cream, and then it's got peanut butter filled pretzels that are covered in chocolate. That's actually... It, yeah. It's fucking delicious. Not a bad one. If um, only... There's, there's quite a few good ones, though. <laughs> Yes, Justin, you just got a Spongebob reference for you. We saw. We saw. Is that the same one? No, it's a different one. Like, hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, listen to me. And Mr. Kravitz comes out. Spongebob, who's playing Squidward's records? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's when he puts jelly on the Krabby Patty. Yeah. That's where he milks a jellyfish like a cow. Yeah, like, that's a little, that episode gets a little bit fucked up. It's a little, it's a little messed up. Just a tad. So I have to raise the canal to get my boat through. As you can tell, the water level is raised. Even I don't though think that's your boat, I think it's a stolen boat. Well, it's my boat right now. <laughs> As a, uh, I'm commandeering this vessel to help me get through the canals of Venice faster. Yes, I just glitched through there. Yeah, I was going to ask. That, that, that is a trick. You can do that. <clears throat> I did not mean to jump out of my boat. <laughs> Let's try that again. Here, I'll just do it again. Oh, fuck. I can't do it. Yeah, whatever. Let's get it into it. Get in my boat. All right. Let's do this. I also have the away. I'm going to come over here really fast. The boat hauls some ass. Fuck you. you. blew that dude in chunks. Fucking blew that dude into fucking... Crispy chunks. Get back on my boat. Totally missed it. That's okay. We're gonna get in there. Get in our boat. Try again. Ups a daisy. Ride around town. Bring it around town. Here we go. I wanna fucking get my thing equipped again. Near speeding through the canals of Verdun. Ow. I gotta really stop hitting myself here on the fucking. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Uh, uh... All right, this is what I want to do. Take out this guy. All right, he's dead. These guys, yeah, these these bad guys with the guns. Forrest is they- sorry for being so quiet, working on some concert photos. Oh, that's okay, Forrest. That's just working on concert photos. Are you in a band? What do you mean? What you mean? Yeah, what you talking about? Oh yeah, um. It's not next weekend, but it's the one after. Melanie and I are going to be in Columbus, so... Oh, no, it's gonna be what are you doing in Columbus? Rock, Rock on, on the, the Rizzings. Oh, I see. Is there going to be some good bands there this time? Uh, There's always yeah. good bands. Oh, all right. Like all right, check this out. Wait, I got to fucking... Back it up, back it up. Oh, Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Ah! What? <laughs> I did it! Alright, and then I'm like, I go over here, and then this guy jumps out like, You suck up my boots, so what's the matter with you? <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Gotta grab this shit over here. He used to be in a band, just went to a show to watch this to watch this time around. Who did you go see? Anybody we've heard of? Ah, fuck off, rats. Who's going to be on Rock on the Range this time? Uh, the Headliners, uh, Metallica, Live, the Offspring, Offspring, oh, Offspring, Corn. Corn? You're going to go to a uh, concert? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you like so, corn. I do. I like corn too. It's very surprising. Like, uh, it is surprising. I figured you'd be like, hey, you're going to I'm see I'm still corn. not a corn guy. He There's a couple songs I can, that I like. But... Yeah, just a little bit. Right, I think that's good. Put my boat right there. All right, gotta come over here now. Oh shit! You know what? I, ah, fuck it. I'll get back. I'll get. I'll get it in a second. I forgot a secret. I gotta go back and get it. Gotta get this key. Because they're, they're, they're good level makers? Yeah, they're good level makers. A band called Maiden. Maiden? Maiden, Maiden Minneapolis. They're a tribute band for Iron Maiden. Awesome show. Oh, nice. That's cool. 
I dig some Iron Maiden. tribute bands, I saw this story today about this Metallica tribute band who got robbed. What? Robbed? And, yeah, like somebody stole all their shit, like their oh. music equipment, you know? Oh, that sucks. So James Hetfield, you know, like the singer of Metallica? Yeah. Like... Bought them new stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's Bought nice. Bought them all new stuff. That's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Forrest, what did you do in your band? Were you a singer, like hacker, or did you play yeah. guitar Do like you me? play the drizzums? Yeah, I, I used to sing in a band. I wish I could play the drums. Mm. Me too. I wish That'd I could. That'd be so cool. All right, see if I can do this right. Did I miss? No, I got him. Nice. Although I missed the boat. <laughs> Hate that guy there. All right. I gotta go back and get the secret really fast. Do to do. Forrest was a drummer. Oh, nice. That's oh, cool, see, I man. Called it. Very cool. Drummer is probably one of the more important people. About people. Yeah, and if, if a band has a good drummer, it's noticeable. Between, yeah. Like, you know, you could have an average drummer that just keeps a beat, or you could have a really cool with the. <laughs> people ask. Uh, people ask. Uh, fucking John Lennon if uh, Ringo was the was the best drummer in the Beatles, and John Lennon's like, Ringo's not even the best drummer in the Beatles. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that before. Poor Ringo star. Patrick, know. hey, I'm no ghost. The nerve of that guy and his driving eyeballs from pranks a lot. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah. Wait, what is it? Oh, look. You got the sniffles. Yep. I don't know if I know that one. Riding my boat. Breaking gondolas. Ow, ow, stop it. Stop it. Shut up, shut you up. You piece of shit. Oh my god, I'm glit. God damn it, I'm fucking glitched here. Fuck off. You're a bitch. That's fuck off. Are. You fuck off. Fucking asshole. Fuck you. No, not, not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I'm sorry. God damn it. All I right. apologize. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to light a flare, whatever. Buttons are all convoluted. Alright, come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, buddy. What's so funny, Bo? This. Oh. I don't want to put it up because it's a pol- I don't want to have Mark put it up because of a political <laughs> statement. <laughs> Although that's a funny, that's funny. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> what it is? Uh, da, 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 da. What do I got? Do? Oh yeah, I got to raise the. Justin's book. got another quote. If you want to read, Mel. Thanks a lot. Is a SpongeBob SquarePants episode from season three. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick use invisibility spray to play pranks on the citizens of Bikini Bottom. Yeah. I do know that episode actually. Do you ever like what the fuck? I thought I jumped right through the boat. The boat. Yeah, right. Fucking. So, do you ever question why it's called Bikini Bottom? Uh, because that's, um, you know... Go on. The naughty parts. They're all the bacteria that just live down in the naughties. Oh, I see. That's your bikini- and Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs lives in Bikini Bottom. And he's crabs. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like you got you, you have thought about this. You got before, crabs in your bikini bottom. You you have thought about this before, haven't you? Yeah, and like <laughs> Sandy could be Sandy cheeks, like when you're on the bikini. You got Sandy, Sandy in your, your vagina. Oh, cheeks. Okay. I don't have cheeks on my vagina. I don't know about yours. You don't have those vagina flaps. <laughs> no. No. Well, not cheeks. I wouldn't call them cheeks. Ow! Fucking hit me with your fucking bat. Fuck you. Guys, takes a lot of bullets. Fucking tough ass motherfucker here. He takes a lot of penises too. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? Penises. Penises. What's a penis? All right. I've Sick never heard of a penis. penis. I'm a good Christian girl. No, you're not. Shut up. <laughs> don't fucking. Don't give me your shit. You're not. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> you pull out a shotgun. <laughs> All right, gotta go down here's. I'm so glad I'm playing this game. I fucking love this game so much. So diddly diddly much. So, Hacker, in your opinion, am I doing a lot better? Yeah, you haven't uh, died yet. You actually seem like you know where you're going. Yeah. That's a good start. Wait for this guy to pop out. Justin's going a little long. Bikini Bottom is located in the Pacific Ocean at the bottom of the sea, below its signature island, Bikini Atoll. 
Oh my god, he has this fucking... It's from the wiki. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's not, like, got this shit memorized. I was gonna say, well, I wouldn't put it past him if he did. I think that's why he's right, we'll away! Alright, we gotta go over here now. We gotta go back this way. do to do to do 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 Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, Melanie, the reason the whole thing with John came up about the Elena not being mentioned again in the second game. I told him when I, like, spoiled everything for him, he's like, so, uh, what I really want to know is when do you start nailing Chloe? I'm like, you know, it's like, oh, well, I don't even want to play anymore. <laughs> hey, maybe you do. Well, so. he becomes, she becomes his wife in, like, the fourth form. No, that's Elena. Oh, Chloe's the, yeah, Chloe's, Chloe's the, the brunette. Yeah. Chloe's the sassy one. Yeah. Chloe's got, Chloe's all about that sass. And she's all like, oh, good, I won't even have to take my top off. <sighs> Chloe, um, I was thinking Chloe? more like an explosion. <laughs> Oh, or we could do that. <laughs> oh, or that could work. <laughs> All right. Shut up. And that is the end of the second level of Venice. Seems like you just kind of ran around in circles. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Well, you got to open some shit to get in. I'm not really explaining the levels. In you got to open need. your butthole. All right, ne fucking care. next time on the game couch, though, I will I will explain the levels more in detail. What you have to do, as if I'm doing a walkthrough.